In the vast cosmos of late 70 seconds television, a quirky starship named Quark burst onto the scene, steering our imaginations through a galaxy of humor and absurdity. Picture it, the year was 1977, a time when televisions flickered with both innovation and fascination. Amidst the cosmic backdrop of space operas and daring adventures, Quark playfully pirouetted, carving its own niche in the constellations of entertainment. Do you remember that first encounter, that serendipitous rendezvous with the show? Perhaps you found yourself navigating its whimsical orbits, chuckling at the eccentricities of Captain Adam Quark and his ragtag crew. Maybe it was the zany aliens, each one a unique and delightful surprise, that left an indelible mark on your memory. Or was it the clever way the series melded satire with science fiction, a delightful dance that had you pondering the intricacies of the universe while grinning from ear to ear? Ah, those memorable moments. The universe-saving exploits that were equal parts daring and ridiculous. The unforgettable dialogues that ping-ponged between the profound and the preposterous. And those interstellar escapades that made you momentarily forget about the ordinary world. Each episode was a cosmic cocktail, mixing imagination, wit, and just a hint of the bizarre. And now, as we journey back through the annals of television history, let's unveil some random facts about this hidden gem of a show. Delve into the intergalactic anecdotes, the behind-the-scenes secrets, and the curiosities that make Quark a true celestial oddity. So, strap in, fellow traveler of the stars, for our cosmic expedition into the world of Quark is about to commence. In a bold move, Richard Benjamin, renowned for his acting prowess, opted for a surprising pay cut from his established earnings during the time, all in the name of collaborating with the mastermind Buck Henry. The 1977 TV series Quark, an audacious concoction of science fiction parody and satirical wit, emerged as a beacon for a devoted cult following within the realm of sci-fi aficionados. With a meticulous blend of clever humor and astute satire, the show tickled the intellect of its viewers. However, its brilliance remained overshadowed by the harsh reality of lackluster ratings, leading to an untimely demise after a mere eight episodes. Among the constellation of notable guest stars that adorned Quark, luminaries like Alan Kalu, Conrad Jannies, and William Sylvester donned alien guises, enriching the show's intergalactic tapestry. Their cameo appearances bestowed an air of authenticity upon the outlandish cosmos the series inhabited. It was a testament to the creator's vision that even in its fleeting existence, Quark managed to encapsulate an entire universe of comedic ingenuity and social commentary. Though short-lived, Quark remains an enigmatic relic of television history, embodying the paradoxical blend of critical acclaim and commercial struggle. Its legacy, however ephemeral, is etched into the annals of science fiction television, a shining testament to the convergence of visionary talent and the capricious nature of the entertainment industry. In a cosmic dance between aspiration and reality, Quark ventured where few dared, leaving an indelible mark on the tapestry of television. A brief, meteoric blaze, extinguished but not forgotten. Quark, the 1977 TV series that blended space opera with zany comedy, left an indelible mark on the science fiction landscape. Airing on NBC, the show's unique approach to parodying the genre it inhabited drew both laughter and curiosity. One notable aspect was its use of sound effects, a majority of which were repurposed from the iconic Star Trek series, a nod to the show it affectionately poked fun at. The interstellar adventures of the titular character, Adam Quark, portrayed by Richard Benjamin, attracted an array of impressive guest stars, including renowned comedians like Jimmy Walker, Bob Dennison, and Sid Haig. Their appearances added an extra layer of humor and star power to the series, elevating its entertainment value. However, behind the scenes, actor Richard Benjamin, the charismatic face of Quark, harbored mixed emotions. While the show's production was undoubtedly a source of fun, Benjamin later voiced his disappointment over its short-lived run and the limited recognition it garnered. The series may not have achieved widespread acclaim, but it left an enduring legacy for its daring blend of space escapades and comedic wit. In a cosmic sea of television history, Quark remains a distinctive star that continues to shine with its quirky charm and the creative endeavors of its cast and crew. A collision of parody, guest appearances, and personal reflections, Quark left an inimitable mark on the universe of television, even if it didn't burn as brightly as some of its contemporaries. 
Quark emerges, pioneering sci-fi parody of 1977 in the vibrant landscape of late 1970s science fiction. A standout gem emerged with a witty twist, Quark. Produced by Universal Television, this series was a cornerstone of the sci-fi boom of its time. While exploring the cosmos, it boldly embarked on humor and parody, planting the seeds for future comedic space-themed hits. Quark anticipated the comedic genius that would later blossom in series like Futurama and Red Dwarf. Its pioneering approach to humor within the sci-fi domain set a precedent that captivated audiences and paved the way for the genre's evolution. However, beneath its laughter-inducing surface lay a divisive undercurrent. The shape-shifting character Jean, Jean, an alien who fluidly switched genders, ignited debates. Some hailed it as a progressive exploration of gender identity, while others decried the show for perpetuating stereotypes and trivializing a weighty subject. In hindsight, Quark remains a fascinating time capsule, encapsulating the era's enthusiasm for space exploration and the nascent inklings of progressive dialogue. As we journey onward through time, it's a testament to the ever-evolving tapestry of television and its capacity to both amuse and challenge societal norms. Quark, a cosmic comedy ahead of its time in the cosmos of 1970s television, where science fiction often took itself quite seriously, one show dared to flip the script, Quark. This zany space romp, created by the illustrious Buck Henry, was not only a tongue-in-cheek send-up of the genre, but a comedic precursor to later interstellar parodies like Futurama and Red Dwarf. A cosmic delight, Quark took viewers on a rollicking journey through the stars, blending satire and silliness with the audacity of a space-furring sitcom. Buck Henry's brainchild, Quark, took a leap into the comedic unknown, an audacious endeavor that piqued the curiosity of seasoned actor Richard Benjamin. Having caught wind of the project while thumbing through a variety magazine in his dentist's waiting room, Benjamin, intrigued by the show's tantalizing title and keen to collaborate once again with Henry, swiftly arranged an audition. Thus began his cosmic voyage as the titular commander Adam Quark, helming a misfit crew aboard the starship U.S.S. Sarcastic. Quark was, without a doubt, ahead of its time in its mirthful approach to spacefaring shenanigans. As a forebearer of later cult favorites, the show melded space opera with deadpan humor, proving that even amid the vacuum of deep space, laughter could echo. The series effortlessly danced between light-hearted jest and pointed satire, much like a zero-gravity ballet of wit and parody. What's more, keen-eared viewers might have recognized that Quark shared more than just a galaxy with another iconic NBC series, Star Trek. Many of the show's sound effects were recycled from its storied predecessor, creating an unmistakable auditory bridge between the two universes. As the cosmic sibling to Star Trek, Quark unabashedly embraced its role as a playful spoof of the beloved franchise, a cosmic clown with a wink to its lineage. Though Quark found itself orbiting the television landscape for a mere brief season, its impact was far-reaching. The show's legacy endures, not just as a nostalgic artifact of 1970s humor, but as a starlit trailblazer that would guide the likes of Futurama and Red Dwarf into their own comedic odysseys through the cosmos. The show's brilliance lay not just in its quirky premise, but in its audacious willingness to tickle the funny bone while reaching for the stars. In the universe of television history, Quark may have been a cosmic blip, but its comedic brilliance still twinkles in the firmament of our collective memory. As the cosmos continue to beckon, let us remember this celestial jester that dared to mock the heavens with laughter, a true comedic supernova, forever emblazoned in the cosmic comedy hall of fame. Quark, the 1977 TV series that took viewers on a cosmic comedy journey, has resurfaced in conversations, shedding light on its unique handling of gender-based humor. At the heart of this debate is the character Jean, Jean a shape-shifting alien who fluidly switches genders. While some hailed this as a progressive take on gender identity exploration, others criticized the show for perpetuating stereotypes and making light of the topic. The series managed to both challenge norms and evoke controversy, reflecting the era's evolving attitudes. Beyond its thought-provoking humor, Quark boasted an impressive roster of guest stars, including well-known actors like Alan Kalu, Conrad Jannies, and William Sylvester, who donned various alien guises. 
Their appearances lent an air of familiarity to the show's intergalactic escapades, drawing audiences deeper into the quirky universe. However, even with its star-studded guest list and unique premise, Quark faced an untimely demise, leaving its lead actor, Richard Benjamin, with mixed emotions. Benjamin, who portrayed the titular character Adam Quark, acknowledged the fun he had while making the show. Yet, he expressed disappointment over its short run and the lack of recognition it garnered. The series may have slipped from the public's memory, but Benjamin's reflections remind us of its fleeting impact. In retrospect, Quark emerges as a polarizing gem, sparking conversations about gender, identity, and the boundaries of humor. Its blend of cosmic oddities and social commentary captured a moment in time when television was daring to push boundaries. As we revisit the series today, we're reminded of the power of entertainment to provoke thought and invite discourse. As we bid adieu to the cosmic escapades of the 1977 TV series Quark, we find ourselves wrapped in a celestial tapestry of nostalgia and wonder. Just as the stars above, Quark illuminated our screens with its quirky crew, zany adventures, and a dose of intergalactic laughter. Each episode was a wormhole into a universe where anything was possible, where strange planets and oddball aliens were the norm, and where the laws of physics often took a humorous hiatus. But beyond the fanciful spaceship, beyond the alien antics, there's a unique resonance that Quark struck in each of us. It's in those late night viewings that became an escape from the ordinary, those moments when you found yourself grinning at the absurdity of it all, and those times when you chuckled knowingly at the satirical jabs cleverly woven into the script. Now, as the final credits roll on this interstellar journey, we invite you to take a moment and reflect on the cosmic connection you forged with Quark. What memories does it conjure? Which quirky character do you resonate with the most? Was there an episode that etched a special place in your heart? We want to hear your cosmic tales, your nostalgic whispers from the cosmos. Share your favorite memories, your thoughts, and your musings about Quark. Let's create a constellation of reminiscences, celebrating the joy it brought to our screens and lives. So, dear viewer, take a leap into the time warp of your memories and share your cosmic thoughts. Thank you for joining us on this whimsical voyage. Until our star paths cross again, keep exploring the galaxies of imagination.